What's up, YouTube? Prepared Wander in the Man Cave. Going to take a look at a really cool uh, bag and kit that I got in a subscription box that I did a review uh, of earlier this year. And by popular demand, we are going to take this thing apart, dig through it, look at it piece by piece, so you guys can really get uh, an in-depth look at what this is all about. So, stick around. It's going to be interesting. All right, so I'm sitting on the floor in the man cave because I need some room to spread some gear out and take a look at it, and I think this is probably the best way. Um, if you haven't noticed, got my prepared wanderer t-shirt on. Now, if you're interested in these and other gear, t-shirts, things like that, there should be a list down below that scrolls uh, below the video from Teespring. And that is the Prepared Wanderer store and then has all the t-shirts and, and long sleeve tees and things like that. If you need patches and stickers, then you go to Big Cartel and search for Prepared Wanderer and there is a Prepared Wanderer site there and you can order stickers and patches from there. So, uh, just want to put that out there. If you're interested in that stuff, that would be great if you make a purchase. That always helps out the channel. If not, no big deal. Uh, I love the new gear. It's looking pretty good. I've got some new designs in there with some smaller logos if you're interested in that. So take a look. All right, so let's get into this thing. Uh, earlier this year, I had received um, a subscription box from Steel to Real. And Steel to Real uh, really has, uh, at least from what I can gather, a really interesting mix of gear that they throw in their subscription boxes. Now they sent me the Elite box. So that thing was, it was whole hog, man. It had everything in it. And if you go back in the videos and look for that, um, it was awesome. I mean, it just had a ton of stuff. But one thing in particular that it had was components for my medic. And my medic uh, really makes top quality stuff. I mean, this is not junk. And this is good survival medical gear. And uh, I was really surprised, kind of blown away by the level of stuff that they'd sent from my medic. So what I did is I took all those components, put them together, put them in the bag that it came with, and kind of made up a, uh, a get home bag, if you will. Something that I could throw in my truck, I could grab, and would have all the components I would need to get through a couple of days uh, out on the road. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig through the bag, look at all the components, see what you guys think. Now as always, there's going to be all kinds of links down below for you to go to the websites for my medic, for Steeled Reel, and check out things on your own and get all the, the pertinent information that you need. My job is not to memorize stats and all that stuff. Um, what I want to do is look at things with you first hand and go through them together. So the first component that go that came in the subscription box, and this can be purchased also through my medic, is this uh, really nice waterproof dry bag. And uh, what makes it so awesome is that it has a lot of features on it. Um, for one, you've got a front pocket. So you can put your cell phone in there, maps, whatever. And it has, it looks like a very sealed uh, zipper. Uh, down here, it has a purge valve, so you can squish all the air out of it, purge it, screw it back on tight, and then that's going to collapse it and keep everything uh, airtight. Also, what makes this bag so awesome is that it actually has a set of backpack straps with a sternum strap. That is pretty, uh, that's pretty high level right there, I think. Uh, and the straps are not some skinny, wimpy straps. These have some padding to them. They look very comfortable. From what I've put it on and worn it a little bit, it is comfortable. It's got some padding in the back right here. Straps are adjustable. And it's a nice, uh, uh, I guess I would describe this as like a seatbelt type nylon material. 
really heavy duty good stuff and then the other feature is it has water bottle pockets built in and um, I fit a couple different size water bottles in here didn't have a problem so now you can take a container with you which I think is great uh, so just you know really nice features and of course it, since it's a dry bag it has a roll up top it should roll out like that and then there's the the opening so let's start pulling stuff out and look at this a little bit closer. What's interesting is that my medic has done a really cool job of packaging this stuff in these uh, kits. And they're all labeled of what's inside and what they're for. Um, so let's get these all out. Move that aside. And actually, a couple of these items came out of the I had out of the bag, so We'll look at those here in a minute, but here's the basically the four components that you're going to get. All right, so what we have is we have the Ten Essentials Premium Kit, and this reads First Aid and Multi Tool. There's this kit, that this is the Essentials Premium Kit, this is food and water. This is clothes, shelter, and sun protection, I think this is where that uh, stuff came out of. Yeah, this one was open, I had that one open. And then this one is navigation, light source, and fire. All right. So let's just go ahead and start in on one of these. So let's take a look at this one. This is the navigation, light source, and fire. And what is inside? We have a folding compass, navigation instructions, solar headlamp with USB charger, 30-hour light stick, And instant fire, waterproof matches, and fire building instructions. And there's also some tips. They give some tips, like cool tip. Wrap duct tape around a stick and light it for a legit torch. Instructions, see first aid, the stay alive guide, pages 21 to 24. So there, there's, there's a little bit of instruction with this as well on the packaging. So, really nice packaging it's um, kind of a uh, ziplock type material there is a zipper pouch this stuff comes in so in this bag we've got insta fire fire starter and I believe I've done a review of this um, a long time ago like years ago maybe two or three years ago um, if I remember correctly I wasn't a big fan of it but uh, a lot of people were educating me on it at that time and said that I need to give it another shot and try it in different ways so I'll reserve judgment on that maybe that's something we'll take out in the woods and actually play with that would be kind of fun and you've got uh, another bag of it so we've got two bags We've got a super light stick, what they're calling it. We've got a solar headlamp. This is the USB charging solar headlamp. Let's take that out. So, I mean, obviously the box is taking up a lot of room in that packaging, so that's one thing. 
uh, it's good to get this opened up and take a look at it because the box needs to go away and we'll keep this stuff in the bag. And there is a headlamp or strap, a USB cord. Let's look at this thing. Oh, holy cow. Look at the size of that thing. Okay, that is, that is a honking headlamp. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, I'll have to play with this a little bit more um, in depth, but this is what you get. Uh, it's a little big. I mean, I'm a little kind of taken back by that. Because, I mean, headlamp, you know, flashlight and headlamp technology has gone so far these days that things are really scaled down and uh, you just they're smaller and they're bright so I don't know this just seems strange that thing's so big but well <coughs> I'll reserve judgment on that we've got a uh, looks like a match case and that is not screw on that's more of a pressure fit and um, not sure what kind of matches these are I've never seen ones with pink heads on them like that these are all pink holy cow but it looks like it looks like kind of a lifeboat type match. Certainly not a standard uh, strike anywhere kitchen match. Looks a little bit more heavy duty than that. So you get a small container of those. And then what we have here? Oh, this is the compass. There's the compass. Pretty standard base plate compass. I don't see a name brand on it, so it's not, it's probably not going to be, you know, obviously at the same quality of a, a Brunton or a, a Sunto, but it looks like it's pretty decent. We'll have to play with that some more, too. So, definitely with this kit, there's going to be some. I think further videos and taking some of this stuff out and actually playing with it in the woods and seeing how it does so that needs to be tested so you get a little case with that so that is the navigation fire uh, light source kit everything there okay now we're going to look at the clothing shelter and sun protection so we got the baggie say on the front here let's read poncho hand warmers 12 hour wool blend performance socks with cool max fleece lined reflective beanie fleece lined waterproof waterproof gloves emergency bivy survival blanket uh, shelter bill instructions and then I can barely read this yellow part because it's just too light. Polarized sunglasses it looks like, sunscreen, and fleece line something or other. So this looks like the sunglasses maybe. Oh yeah. So you know, pretty standard pair of sunglasses. You know, kind you get in the gas station or whatever, but um, in a situation where you're out in uh, elevation uh, or out in the desert, uh, sun is going to be an issue. So having something is going to be better than nothing, for sure. You don't have to be $100 sunglasses to protect you. You just need to work. We've got a, an emergency poncho, and it's interesting. It's silver, so it's a mylar poncho. We've got a bivy. And they're calling this the super bivy. Actually, let's take that out of the package a little bit so we can just peek at it. So we don't need the, the packaging. So it's a plastic kind of bivy. Almost like a large, almost like a garbage bag kind of material. So 
I get that. And we've got hand warmers. Top packages those. Here are the socks. Kind of funky socks. Has stay alive and it has first aid tips written on them. So, you know, if you, gotta, if you gotta read your socks when you're doing first aid, you may have a problem. So, I wouldn't rely on that, but it's kind of cool. And then these are the things that were out of the package that I'd taken out. These are the gloves. So, <clears throat> what we have here is rubberized material on the back, rubberized material over here with a grippy texture, and then these are fleece line. So this would actually do pretty well in a winter environment, or at least a wet environment, and keep your hands warm and protected and give you some, some grip with them. So that's pretty cool. And then we have a divvy, or excuse me, and here we have the, the beanie. My medic and that's kind of a fleece lining to it. So that's a nice little beanie, actually. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's going to be hard not cannibalizing this pack. I can, I'll can. i tell you that right now because I'm notorious with that. I get survival kits in, I review them, and then I just tear them apart and I cannibalize them and I end up they getting scattered to the four winds in other kits and bags that I create, but I really would like to keep all this together because I think it's so well thought out. And now here we have, this is, this is actually has some weight to it. This is pretty heavy. This is the food and water. This is interesting. So we have energy bar, coconut, natural flavor. This is new millennium. Never heard of that. Okay. Wow. Emergency food ration, five year shelf life, contains three food bars. Eat one food bar per serving three times daily. So that, I mean, you could, uh, you could knock somebody out with this thing. This is like a brick. It is heavy. It is dense. There's some weight to this. And there's some, uh, this is water in individual pouches. All wrapped up and sealed. So that's going to that's gonna last you a while. I'm not sure what the shelf life on that is, but at least you've got some. Get you started. We've got a little fold up canteen. It's kind of cool. And it's actually got some information on it about daily intake and times and uh, just information about dehydration, which I think is kind of cool. I think that's nice. And it's, of course, got the MyMedic branding on it. They've done a really good job of branding their stuff. For sure. Shoved in the bottom here is a life straw. Wow, okay. An authentic life straw. Very nice. Good water purifier. Sweet. And then. Okay, you get a package of four aqua tabs. It's not very many. I would like to probably add to that. All right, last but not least, we have the first aid multi-tool bag. Uh, super tape, two rolls. Don't know what super tape is, but I assume it's probably similar to a Gorilla Tape or duct tape kind of material. Got that. A space blanket. 
So I actually got another way of creating shelter or controlling your temperature. I, you know, space blankets, of course, aren't the greatest thing to sleep with out in the woods. Uh, but if you have, if you're suffering uh, <clears throat> from thermal regulation issues, this is at least something. We have an epic massive wet wipe. Shower on the go. So a little bit of a hygiene kind of thing. Box. This is our multi-tool. Pretty standard, no name multi tool. Of course, you're not going to have a Gerber or a Leatherman, one of these things, because that would just be cost prohibitive. But it's got the basics there's a knife blade and these things out without killing myself. Bottle opener, screwdrivers, saw blade, another type of screwdriver, so can opener. So you got a little bit of everything in there, pretty basic. Better than nothing, right? Here is an emergency uh, pressure bandage, which is nice. And it does have instructions on it, so that's good. We have our first aid and survival manual. So this has information on all sorts of things in here. We got venomous snakes, signaling, shelter building. Pre-hunt conditions, coordination, excuse me, knots, fire building, field dressing animals, uh, using a compass, first aid. So, obviously, with these guides, um, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with them. So, on one hand, they're good to have because if you're in a situation and you are a little discombobulated, you're dehydrated, you're tired, you may have foggy brain, you may need some reminders of how to do things, and this may help you. But, on the other hand, you should know this stuff before you go out. You know, people need to have more of a greater understanding of first aid and navigation and fire building and shelter building and basic survival skills before they go out. That way when they're in a situation they can utilize all these great tools that have been provided and even if they're marginal tools you can make them work. The time to learn this stuff is not when you're in an emergency. So off my soapbox for now but that's just the way I feel about that. Okay and here is the Hiker Medic pack. And um, I don't want to open this, but I will read and let you guys look at what's inside here. So we have <clears throat> sunscreen, lip balm, burn gel, alcohol wipes, fabric bandages of various sizes, gauze pad, uh, super skin, blister strips, uh, triple antibiotic ointments. There is a whistle, there's electrolytes, there is sting and bite relief, uh, an emergency blanket, again, we have another emergency blanket, okay, yeah, it's an emergency blanket, uh, 20 degree, 550, oh wait, 20 feet of 550 paracord, that's interesting. Twenty feet's not a lot. 
ibuprofen, Benadryl, and water purification tab. So you got more water purification. So there's some doubling up of stuff. So maybe what I'll probably do is I'll probably like move things around. Like I'll probably take the water purification and put that with the other water purification. That just makes sense. Um, definitely will add uh, more paracord. 20 feet is not enough to do much of anything, but it's better than nothing. But you know, at least you got it. So. All right. So we have to test out the headlamp, right? Actually, it's pretty bright and it throws a, a pretty decent wide beam. Now check this out. You can step it down. It has a strobe, give you a seizure, and off. So you got a couple levels. It's like a bright, a low, and a strobe. And then the ring around it kind of I don't know if that's the, that kind of glows. That's almost like a diffuser around the edge there. So actually, it's not a bad light. Um, bulky is all get out, but it's, of course, it's got, oops, sorry, it's got the solar panel. So that's why it's so big. Um, and that makes sense. And then if you look a little bit closer, there's your USB. And it looks like a USB-C. I think that's what the smaller one is called. So you would actually be able to, I think, charge a device off of this with that solar panel. That, that makes sense to me. Of course, I gotta take that plastic off the, the solar panel that's protecting it. Um, I think I'll just leave that on there for now. But so there's, so I guess there's reasoning why it's so big, and you know maybe I was a little harsh on my initial thoughts about it, but you know I'm just, you know when you, I'm not used to seeing a headlamp this big, it looks like something a coal miner would use. It's so big, um, but it is a decent light. It, had, it actually throws pretty good light. Not bad. You know, I don't know. Up to you guys. All right, so that is all the stuff laid out. This is what it comes with. Now, once you get it all unpackaged and laid out, it doesn't look quite as much as it did when it was in its packaging. Um, when I was setting this all up and laying this stuff out, I was thinking about this, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to repackage everything in um, heavy-duty Ziploc bags I'm going to divide them by uh, types of gear and I will supplement and add things to it to improve it. Like we talked about, I'll add uh, probably more paracord. I think I will end up replacing that headlamp with something better. Um, I just don't like the size of it. It's just it's too bulky and I don't trust it. Um, I, I'm sure it's fine. And as an emergency headlamp, and I'm sure it'll be all right. And I'm not trying to, to knock my medic, but I'm also trying to do an honest review of this so you guys have an idea of what this is all about. And this is my opinion from my experience with gear and being in search and rescue and being an outdoorsman and doing this for many, many, many years, countless camping trips and hiking excursions and hunting and fishing and all that stuff. Um, there are things in here that need to change and need to be upgraded and I think the headlamp is one of the big ones for me. The multi-tool, sure, it would be great to get a better one, um, but it's not bad. I mean it's it's better than nothing and it would be a good thing to have. Maybe add a small fixed blade knife like a Mora, something that's inexpensive, uh, would be a great addition to this kit. Um, I also think the addition of a small fishing kit would would be nice. Um, they're nice to have, and um, you never know when you can use one, so having one would be great. Um, the food items are pretty good. The shelter stuff isn't bad. I mean, of course, you could add a tarp and all that, but then that just starts eating up space and weight, and you don't need that. Um, water purification tablets, definitely need more of those. Um, 
First aid kit's not bad. At least they give you a pressure bandage for larger bleeds. Um, of course, you can go overboard with first aid kits, but you know, for this, for what this is, I don't think that's necessary. I think minor cuts and some minor bleeding is what you're trying to control, and I think that'll work for you with what they've provided. Uh, the compass is un, an unknown at this point. You need to test it. Need to make sure that it actually points in the the right direction that it's supposed to. So I'll compare that to my good compass, and um, if it's good, I'll leave it uh, because it's not something I want to use all the time. It should be fine. Uh, the matches, of course, are an unknown. Need to check those out. Make sure that they work properly. Uh, I would also throw in a couple of butane lighters, Bix, and I would um, tie those off with zip ties so that they don't lose their, get accidentally depressed and lose their gas or their fuel. And um, that way you'd, you'd have a couple instant uh, fire starters because matches can be unreliable um, if they get wet. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Please check out the links down below uh, to the Facebook group, to Instagram, to the Amazon store. Check out the t-shirts below, see if you like those. And as always, thank you for watching Prepared Wanderer. We will see you next time.